You may have woken up to a shaking house perhaps due to a 2.3 magnitude earthquake. It occurred just after 6 o'clock this morning. Yeah, a bit of a rude awakening for many. Many across the Salt Lake Valley took to social media to share their experiences. They reached out to us this morning when we were on the air at Good Day Utah. Fox 13's Diego Romo spoke with a seismologist at the University of Utah who says it was one of thousands of aftershocks from last year's quake. It was... Uh seven miles beneath the northwestern part of the Salt Lake uh, Valley, uh, basically near 1500 south and 5400 west. Magna resident Scott Taylor felt the quake as he was just getting ready to start his day. I think it was like 601 and I, I felt this this roll kind of come across and the, I mean, it only lasted probably two or three seconds, maybe. I don't know. It seemed like it lasted longer. And although Sunday's quake pales in comparison to the 5.7 magnitude tremor that rocked the Salt Lake Valley almost one year ago, Taylor says it was still a shocking experience. You kind of get used to them, but now it's been a few months since we've had any any shakes. And so this was kind of a, uh, you know, a starter this morning, kind of kind of a get your heart pumping, heart pounding. University of Utah seismologist Jim Peshman says Sunday's earthquake was just one of more than 2,500 aftershocks since the Magna earthquake last year. So yes, we still do have aftershocks going on. He says the aftershocks have ranged from magnitude 0 0.5 to 4.6. 40 of them have been magnitude 3 and larger, and there's been 117 of magnitude 2.3 and larger. So the comparable to or larger than uh, the aftershock this morning. I've been here 29 years in, in Utah and in, in Magna, and I've, you know, up until last year, never had any experience with an earthquake. With the thousands of aftershocks since last year, many are worried the Salt Lake Valley's fault lines are more active than normal. But Peshman says this is typical seismic activity, and aftershocks can last up to several years after large earthquakes. I think We'll still be seeing occasional uh, aftershocks maybe through the rest of this year, certainly at least for the next few months. More information about the aftershocks from the 5.7 magnitude earthquake and what you can do to prepare your home can be found on the University of Utah Seismology website. We'll link you over at fox13now.com. In Salt Lake City, Diego Romo, Fox 13 News, Utah.